Ooh, what is up you guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, this character. And today we got ourselves a match against the Star Dasher. And this guy is a guy that's been a long time follower and really a good friend here in on the Pokemon community, really. Um, he's a very, very good player, it does really well in Litio. And just overall, he's a very, very, I guess you should say, balanced trainer. He know exactly, you know, pinpoint uh, opponent weaknesses and uh, trying to make their opponent um, to do that play so he can kind of come in. So that makes him very, very formidable and uh, just very, very strong. So I have issues with this guy uh, when it comes to battling him because I know I need to step up my game and it's tough to do that to a person that uh, can kind of call when that happens. So look to his team where we got Shiftry, Durant, Haunter, Jolteon, Hitmonchan and Slowking. I myself using a Specs, uh, Golurk, uh, Stoutland, Mawile, Rhyperior, Tangroft, and Mega Glalie. And just look into his team here. I have no thing that really can hit his Durant. I got no Pokemon with fire moves. And uh, just basically, while Durant is sort of fragile, it just it outspeeds my whole team. So that means I need to take a hit and uh, retaliate. And I'm not sure a lot of my pros can do that. So I was really fearing that, and uh, of course Jolteon outspeeds everything on my team too. So it can come in freely and the Volt Switch and whatnot because, well, the only thing really stopping it is the right barrier. Um, so I really need to keep those guys alive. So uh, yeah, with all this, my guys, let's go. So from the start, I basically felt that I had no idea what to start off with. So Golurk was my safest bet because I, pro I thought I could deal with everything. It can't deal with um, this this Pokemon. It just can't. Galvatron has since Slowking is super super specially defensive. There is no way for me of really going for a Shadow Ball or anything like that. So I had to switch out. I'm gonna switch out to Tangrowth. And I don't know if Stardash predicted me or not here, but he definitely switched out himself. Probably feeling maybe that he, I can do a lot of damage, and I, that I have the um, what's it called the physical set. But anyway, we're gonna trade knockoffs here. Because I didn't think he would uh, stay in here. I thought Tangrove, like the oppression of Tangrove, would be well enough to really fill it. So I was thinking that, you know, that, that is my best bet. There is no way I would play that differently. And, uh, well, I had no reason to really stop going for knockoffs because I knew that there was no reason for him to let his shifter stay in and potentially take a sludge bomb. And uh, Durant is the correct play because it does, or it is immune to the poison type. So anyway, I was really getting stressed here. He's gonna go for the Home Claw. I was thinking, you know what? Screw it. I should be able to take a bug move from this. Uh, maybe an Iron Head to resist both moves. Totally neglecting the fact that this thing learns Crunch. God freaking damn it. That is definitely gonna take down a Golurk. And basically from this point on, I was so, so stressed. So I gotta go into Desotroya. And um, I thought that he wouldn't stay in. So I went for Rock Blast because, well, honestly, he, I couldn't go for EQ because of his uh, Haunter being inbound. But I only hit two times with Rock Blast, which actually is enough for this Durant to live. And that also means my Rhyperior is gonna go down. And even worse is that we are now in a position where his Jolteon can go freely for Volt Switches. Which is the situation I didn't want to go at. I didn't want that to happen. So then I go on my, to my mobile this time, and he's just gonna stall me out for home claw. I knew since I had PV Max on my Sucker Punch that there is no reason for me to stop going for Sucker Punch. Eventually, he will overpredict, thinking that I will attack him. But honestly, I were in no good position to even start to do something like that. So after three home claw turns, I eventually strike through with the Sucker Punch, which of course it's great, it's awesome, it's. It means this is a Durant sweep, basically, for me, but like I said, due to my repair being gone, now the Volteon, the Jolteon, can, well, <laughs> destroy my team, because I got nothing that can take a Volt Switch. I have no poke in any position whatsoever we can deal with that, and that is a Specs freaking Volt Switch. No, that's Life Orb, and it hurts so bad. It hurts so much that you know, I'm getting really stressed there. There is no way I can deal with him. And he's gonna go to his little Mac, and... Um, well, Sarlex is my only Pokemon who can kind of wall this thing out. And with Regenerator, I can kind of keep it alive. That's what I'm going with. But he hits me with an Ice Punch, which gets a crit. And it does a bit too much damage. And this Cigarette will, of course, showcase that 
sadly, he is a soul vested, which is something just I can't deal with that. I I just I can't work around it. So he's gonna bring back the shift tree, and I went for a knockoff here, thinking that if I'm gonna go down, I might as well take away the item, or even better, you know, sack something and get, get re regenerate to go in. But that was my only play I had. Sadly, did not pan out as I hoped for. So I'm gonna go into Ash card here, and um, my opponent went for sucker punch. Luckily for me, it gets me a lot of momentum. I was sure it was gonna go for another sucker punch. Um, I'm basically gonna mega ball and go for a body slam because a body slam is awesome. It really, really helps out here. He doesn't go for a sucker punch, which is great because I do save myself a lot of HP, and a lot of HP is what I need. So the shift tree is out of the way, which means it has no real priority. But who needs priority when you got freaking Jolteon, who outspeeds everything? So even though I do survive this Volt Switch, I won't survive another. And that basically means that I can't rely on Glalie for winning the matchup against Jolteon. So he's gonna go to his grabber, I just kept going for Body Slam or Refrigerated, well, Frozen Body Slam basically. And uh, I'm gonna grab the grabber, <laughs> just by just straight on luck really. So I'm free to go for EQ if I had a Desert Troya left, which I don't. And um, I was so sure it's gonna go for Mac Punch this time, so I'm just gonna go to Sarlax which is my Tangrove, and knowing him, I was pretty much banking that he probably won't stay in because of uh, the Ice Punch did not do a fair amount of damage, so I just went for EQ, predicting the Jolteon, and what do you know, what do you know, the game changing prediction came, and after all the struggle that I was going at, there was only one thing that would make him win this battle, and that was as long as Jolteon was alive, there was no way in hell I was going to win, but I don't think he knew that I packed the Earthquake and the Jolteon is gonna go down. Wow, that is super important. And he's gonna bring here the Slow Queen and um, at this point I just went for Giga Drain. Just recovery really. I have lost my Assault Fest so I'm not, you know, dead with a position. But I was thinking that he's probably gonna go for an Ice Beam and I can definitely take that. He has Fire Blast. Yeah. And that will kill. That will definitely kill. That is a Specs Fire Blast, folks. And that kills my Tangrove easily. So anyway, I'm just going to go to Ashguard. And basically, I was in a position where there was no way in hell my, that my Ashguard would have been able to deal with um, um, with the Hitmonchan. So I was thinking that he could switch out. And if not, then you know, the Explosion will still do enough damage to take out this uh, uh, Slow King. Or Slow Queen. So the last matchup is Hitmonchan against the Stoutland, the Guts Stoutland, which is a Soul Vested and with Intimidate, and of course with Intimidate, the Hitmonchan will be significantly weaker than it should be, and um, I am actually able to outspeed even though I am not invested, and this return will annihilate Little Mac, so it's a very, very close 1-0 in my favor, and uh, honestly, this game should have not have ended in my victory, but it it kind of came through eventually, and I won just by making a judgment call that would either make it or break it for me, and I'm very glad this time it actually made it. So yeah, I mean, after this battle, I really felt, I, I shouldn't say bad, but at the same time, um, he had upper hand, like a very, very big upper hand with him, of course, Durant really pulling through. I was not making the right decision, making the home claw Durand so powerful that um, had I not taken it out with a sucker punch, I would have lost. There was no way of me really getting back. While I, his hit is resisted by my Mawal, it still eventually would have been enough to break it. And I really knew that. Uh, I was really fearing that potential happening. Even though it should pack superpower, which it probably didn't do, it uh, still was, like I said, in a position where I think it would break me, and I'm, I, I'm gonna be honest here. I feel started to deserve this battle. Uh, I really do, and not because of um, the Durant setup anyway. Because I, he had to match up until the very end of this battle. It was definitely a judgment call with the Jolteon that made me actually win this battle. It was not until that point things actually shifted, and that is. That is like 80% into the battle that things actually turn around. And I think that's that's so powerful to really see. Because like I said, Stoddish is a very, very good player. And uh, 
I, I caught him by just sheer luck, really, and I was really feeling that that was a prediction he might do. Uh, so I'm very glad I did that. I, but I would have been, you know, sad if I lost this battle because I think he played a very, very good game and he, and yeah, he's a, just a general good player. So starters, like I said, GG man, it was a very, very good battle. And for everybody else, you know, thanks for always for watching. Make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, what is up? And of course, remember, guys, the sky's the limit. So have a good day and take care. Right. Bye.